Hey everybody, this is PJ Riley from Lancaster Archery. Got a revised version of a bow that's been out for a while we wanted to tell you about. This is the 2022 version of the Darton Spectra E. So last year Darton had sent me the Spectra E and I didn't like it so much. Uh, me personally, I didn't. And they totally revamped this bow for 2022 and it is an awesome shooting machine right now. Uh, just up front, we'll tell you wider limbs, stiffer uh, riser here, bigger axle. They just did a bunch, different limb angles. They did a lot to improve the shooter experience with this bow. We'll tell you about that in a second, but let's give you the specs for this bow first. The Darton Spectra E measures 32 inches axle to axle. It's got a mass weight of 4.9 pounds, a brace height of six and seven sixteenths inches. It's got an adjustable draw length from 25 and a half inches to 31 inches. IBO speed rating of 335 to 340 feet per second. And it's available in peak draw weights of 40, 50, 60, and 70 pounds. All right, so as we mentioned, um, Darton did a lot to improve the shooter experience with this bow. And First and most noticeably what they did is they came out with a little bit more parallel limbs than they had in the past. Previous models, uh, the limbs were more inverted this way, which tends to produce a little more hand shock. By going to more parallel limbs, they smooth that out so you don't feel that hand shock. Um, all, and also along with that, they came up with a wider limb pocket and wider limbs. That also helps with the stability. Where Darton really did a lot to improve the shooter experience is with this riser here. So they're all different grades of aluminum. And this riser is made of an aluminum that's classified as 7075 T6511. That's a lot of technical jargon that doesn't, you know, that's irrelevant. But what we need to know as end users is that that grade of aluminum is pre-stressed and pre-stretched. So for the strength to weight ratio and the stiffness to weight ratio, this is among the highest level of aluminum in its class. And so what Darton is saying is they've basically all but eliminated riser flex. There is a little bit in there, but not much. Um, so that just produces consistency. It eliminates any hand shock in there. So this bow now is just a pleasure to shoot. That was one of my complaints last year was I didn't think it was a pleasant experience. This one is. Yep. Um, so in case you haven't um, seen it before, Darton on its, any of its bows that have the E at the end. This one's the Spectra E. What they're talking about is this unique, you're only gonna see this on Darton bows, is this little pulley system right here. Darton calls this their E system. So what it is, is it takes your split yoke, comes up on each side of the limbs here on the outside, comes down, goes through the roller, and then comes right back up and wraps around the uh, cam right here. So what you have now pulling down, you have three points of contact pulling on the axle, which by the way, Darton upgraded this year to a quarter inch axle. So they went to a bigger axle. By having three points of contact here pulling down, it just evens the load on that axle and the bearings inside. Uh, so it just makes for a, a more forgiving setup. You don't notice this E system uh, in the draw cycle other than it's a very smooth draw cycle. You might think with the cam paying out some string here and it going through the roller and then taking it back up after the shot, you might think that you would feel all of that somewhere in the draw cycle, but you don't. It's got a real nice draw cycle, typical hunting compound. You know, you're gonna have a lot of effort at the front and then it's gonna come back and sit nicely. We've got a couple of options here for your string stop and for a limb stop. First off, we're gonna see right here on the rotating mod, this is your draw length mod. You've got this big flat paddle right there. I mean, that thing is awesome. This is what's coming around and contacting the cable. That's your draw stop. 
that in and of itself is nice and solid. I tend to like a solid back wall. I know some archers like a little sponginess in there. With that big paddle, when it comes around and hits that cable, it's nice and solid. But if you like even more rock solid, uh, we have a limb stop. And so what you would do is once you set your draw length, this limb stop sits in an open channel here. You would just set the timing for it so that it came around and struck the limb at the same time as the cable stop. Or, as always, if you wanted a little more aggressive feel, you could put this a little short of that. Then that's going to reduce some of your let off, which is a nice option if that's how you like your shot to activate. It's good to be able to do that. All right, coming down the bow, Darton has provided two burger holes here. That's for rest security if you want to do that. Coming on the back, I only have one bolt in there, but if your rest has the distance, you can put two bolts in there and then you never have to worry about thing moving up and down. You know, bow hunters, we're out there. Sometimes our bows take a beating. You can pound it on rocks, drop it, whatever. If you've got two bolts in there, that thing is not moving. The grip. It's a real nice grip there, kind of leans forward. I like that grip uh, with my hand in that position. I think it just holds and aims incredibly well, which this bow does. It's a machined part of the riser, uh, so there's nothing extra added on there. These are just decorative plates on the side there, but it's a nice grip. Nice and flat on the back here thins up at the top of the grip here, right where the webbing of your hand would be. Nice and flat here, rounded edges, real great for getting your hand in position. And of course, one of the things that I love about these Darton grips is this channel in the front here. Just good for making sure your hand is in the right position every time. I can reach down there and touch that, find that channel, make sure my hand's in the right position. Stabilizer mounts. If you like to run just a front bar, we've got one here. Darton has added a beefier bushing up front there just to improve that stabilizer to bow contact. Sometimes if those things are thin, they can come off, especially in hunting situations. It's not easy to get them loose. Darton beefed up that bushing there so you get a nice solid contact. And of course, you've got a rear mount in the back if you like to run a side rod off the back of the bow as well. Every one of these Spectra E's is going to come with the shock dampeners in the limbs there again just to do some more to eliminate vibration uh, and quiet this thing down. All right, so like I said, the shooting experience that Darton changed with this bow is just incredible. Um, I, I didn't care for it as much last year. Randy Kitts, the new owner of Darton, he saw me at a tournament this summer and he said, hey, come on over here, I want you to shoot this bow. It was this one that they had reworked. He said, just shoot it and tell me what you think. And it was like night and day. I didn't think it was the same bow. He said, that's the new Spectra E, we've changed it. Uh, focusing really on that shooter experience. Let's be honest, most folks when they come in to buy a bow, you're gonna shoot it just at five yards and see how it feels. This one feels as good as any of the bows. Then performance wise, I was able to get it tuned very quickly. And then I was shooting this out to 40 yards behind the shop. It was as accurate as any bow I've shot. It held nice, it aimed nice. Again, that draw cycle is nice for a hunting bow. You may get stuck in that full draw position for a minute or two, you know, waiting for game to do what you want. So it's, a, it's important that that's comfortable back there. And this bow is at that max let off. So it's just a real nice shooting bow. At the shot, you don't feel anything. The bow doesn't want to jump out of my hands. Great shooting experience from the folks at Darton. All right, so that is the 2022 version of the Darton Spectra E. Great revised version of a bow that's been in Darton's lineup for a while. We're glad to have it at Lancaster Archery. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like it, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Don't forget to click that bell to get notifications whenever we put out new videos. As always, if you have any questions, you can visit us at LancasterArchery.com.